top Army commanders confronted President Emerson Nangagwa at the weekend demanding the conferment of national hero status on the late former Zimbabwe National Army Major General Godfrey Chanukira, forcing him to make a dramatic U-turn on his earlier decision to merely grant him a state-assisted funeral, emerging details show. Military and government sources told New Zimbabwe. Com the retired Army Chief Step had widened divisions between Nangagwa and his highly ambitious deputy, Constantino Chuanga. Chanukira, a liberation war hero, was working as a permanent secretary in Chuanga's office at the time of his death from a heart problem last week. Nangagwa on Friday announced he had granted him a state assisted funeral instead of the national hero status, a decision which sources said left Army chiefs shocked given a standing agreement that any soldier from the rank of brigadier general upwards would automatically be declared a national hero upon his or her death. Sources said Nangagwa initially denied Chanakira the national hero status on the basis of his perceived allegiance to his internal ZANU-PF and government nemesis. The two 2017 coup protagonists are embroiled in a messy fight over unresolved leadership issues. The sources said Nangagwa may have made the decision in order to fix Chiwenga after they met at Chanakira's residence to pay condolences. Chiwenga reportedly openly lobbied for Chanakira to be declared national hero in front of Nangagwa saying, I am Namagamba and Yuka Chiwoko Ayu he is a true national hero. Dottie is said to have also remarked that, while he knew the party had its own processes, Chanukira's work spoke for him, and there was no way he could be denied the national hero status. A source quoted Chuanga as saying, his works, in service of his country, are there for all of us to see. He is a national hero. But we have internal processes in the party that we have to follow, and a meeting will soon be held, that could be tomorrow or a day after, to see which honor is most consistent with his work. But Nangagwa, shortly thereafter, went on to grant Chanukira the state-assisted funeral. The truth is that the generals were shocked by the decision to grant him only a state-assisted funeral and visited him at the state house over the weekend to demand a review of the decision. They indicated to him that it was too belittling to grant him just a state-assisted funeral when he was such a distinguished liberation hero and died serving the country, an official source said. In announcing Nangagwa's embarrassing volt face, Chief Secretary to the Office of the President and Cabinet Ms. Hexabanda said, the late Major General Godfrey Chanukira RTD whose Chimiranga name was Comrade Garakai Musavangana who had been granted a state-assisted funeral has now been declared a national hero following further consultations. Burial arrangements will be announced in due course. Interestingly, Chanukira was one of the numerous generals whom Nangagwa retired from the army after he assumed power in the immediate aftermath of the November 2017 coup. They include the later former Zimbabwe National Army Chief of Staff, the late retired Lieutenant General Douglas Nikea Ramba who was posted to Mozambique, and former head of Presidential Guard Anselm Sanyutwa, who is now Zimbabwe's ambassador to Tanzania. The move to retire them was widely seen as a coup-proofing measure.